Hello, my people, Lady Rose here. Uh, last time I told you all guys that I did change my channel name from Africa Charity TV USA to Lady Rose, my real name now. Yes, and it's a little bit hard for me to uh, get used to saying my name, but, uh, but with the time, guess what? I can talk, okay? Yes, so, yes, guys, uh, Africa Charity groups on WhatsApp. I did request you guys to subscribe to our uh, sister's channel, uh, Isabella Banks. That's our sister in the United Kingdom. So, yes, uh, uh, we need... Uh, 1,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Uh, she currently has uh, 3,000 subscribers. And if we're going to make that channel big, guess what? That channel is going to bless all of us. You and myself and more people, okay? So we need to bless our people and help our people and let them grow. Let all of them grow big. Let's... Uh, uh, let's... Uh, uh, uplift Megan's uh, uh, American Rivera Orchard. Okay? Yes, remember... Megan did start this new business, uh, American Rivera Orchard. Uh, so y'all need to go on uh, uh, Instagram and follow her. Okay? So uh, again, it's American Rivera Orchard. Yes, type it on Instagram and follow the sister. So all of y'all black people, all of you all guys from other races who love Megan, who are not discriminating against her, come on here, let's uh, uh, help the sister, let's uh, uplift the sister, let's make her name viral, let's make everything of hers big, let's make anything that Prince Harry of England touches big the american corporate please embrace this is your in-law yes a prince of england prince harry that kid has good heart like his mother you know that guy does lots of uh, charity work out here i don't know what kind of charity work his brother does the future king what do you call him the one with no hair put his name down here i forgot his name K kate middleton's husband yeah so that guy I don't know what kind of charity that guy runs out there and he has all the billions he has all the inheritance from the great 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 all those ones but you do not see him share with nobody no wonder that's why he hates megan yeah because uh, he just doesn't like people and especially the minority or the peer poor people he just doesn't care about them so that's why god is gonna bless uh uh prince harry with all his uh descendants yeah, he's doing good job. Like all the mess that his brother's doing around the media. Uh, like right now, I read something about a, like his uh, me media people saying, uh, you know how ridiculous those tabloids and the UK media really sounds? They sound super childish. You know those people, I myself, I wouldn't sit down and hang out with those people. Those people are so childish. I wonder if they even been to school. They built all the schools around the world, but uh, boy, if you look at those people's education level, it's like a, of a three, third grade. Yeah, their imaginations and the things they talk about, it's just terrible, guys. So now they wrote this article saying, uh, Lily, Princess Lilibet and uh, Prince Archie will never be working royals. Guess what? If I worked at McDonald's, that's where you guys' firm is. That whatever you call the royal, whatever you call it. Monarchy. It's like a, a first food restaurant to me. If I worked there when I was younger and I left and grew up and became a responsible person like me, a professional, Guess what? I wouldn't send my children to work at those, that kind of place. With everything that you guys did to those children, parents, and you really think those people have my blood. They have black DNA in them. The, our DNA, you know what you did? You did it to our ancestors. Try it right now. Try us. Try us right now. And let's see where you're all going to end. Yeah, you did all those with our ancestors back in the day because they were not like us, okay? Y'all tried this mess right now here. And thinking that Archie is going to really say like, well, I want to go there, work under my uncle who's the king, and Lilibet is going to say the same. Are you guys out of your minds? That firm is like a first food restaurant. That's what I qualify it. It's nowhere, it's not a place for anyone who like I really wanna have a free life who would wanna go to work. 
Look at Kate Middleton. That girl is 42. Look at how she looks. She looks like she's uh, up there. Yeah, she looks like she is at least 25 years older than what she's, she really is. That farm is not a luxury. I'm telling you all guys, did you all guys watch any videos about Princess Diana? Yeah, living behind those palace walls, it's just like living in prison. That's why Kate looks the way she is. See all those wrinkles? You know those wrinkles don't just come like that at 42? Guys, please. And you people calling Meghan Michael, Marco social climber. You know who the real social climber here is? It's Kate Middleton. And now let me tell you why. This is written in, in, in the uh, Cosmopolitan. Yeah, go on Cosm Cosmopolitan page. Cosmopolitan or whatever you call it. They explained how Kate Middleton climbed all those ladders to take herself to St. Andrews College. Unlike Megan. You know, Megan worked in Hollywood. Megan knew all the world presidents before Kate Middleton. Before Kate Middleton was on the arch. That's what we saw her on water. We saw her in bikini with millionaires, with a billionaire. What is that uh, uh, English billionaire, guys? Please drop her name below here. Yeah, there are lots of stuff that came on the media about Kate Middleton hanging out with all those Epstein, hanging out with Prince Andrew. All those, uh, those names just are scary. Those are the people that Kate Middleton was hanging out with. Unlike Megan, Megan was working. She was a working actress. Yes, and had all the tabloids behind her, following her around. Had she done anything fishy, they would be out here, guys, with all these people who really hate her because of her race. You, go, you guys call her mixed race over there. In America, we call her black. That's what they said during all the uh, slavery. Uh, if you had like a 1% of black blood in you, you were uh, considered a black person. So therefore, Meghan, black, Meghan Markle is considered black in America. Okay, You guys consider her as a mixed race person. Yes, the way you all hate Meghan Markle, just imagine. If she was doing what Kate was doing on those yards there, being called pretty girl, tall pretty girl, it would all be here exposed and looking really ugly and uh, make her look like uh, she was not even human being. But Kate Middleton did those stuff. She was hanging out with all those bad names. I wonder if the name that was kept from Epstein nonsense was not Kate's name. So guys, the truth is, Michael Middleton, Kate Middleton, fa Middleton's father, used to be a flight, what do you call, flight dispatcher. Those are the people who work at the airport and they tell you guys this so-and-so flight was, is going to leave at this time and the other one is going to leave at so-so-so time. And Kate's mother, Carol Middleton, was a flight attendant. She was serving biscuits and sardines on the flight. She was nobody before she built these party pieces that uh, uh, she's on everybody left and right, etc. She's owing lots of people lots of money. And those money is like $300,000 for the royal family that has a Sixty billion dollars in the bank. <laughs> well, that's so juicy, guys. Share my videos. Share my videos and put some like there. Share my videos and share Isabella Banks' videos too, guys. Let's share those videos. Let those. Let's make these success medias. Let's make those success medias big. Let's make the American Rivera Orchard big. Okay. So the social, the real social climber here are the Middleton. The social climbers have nothing to do with uh, Miss uh, 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 Doria. Miss Doria has never been into all those uh, royal nonsense saga up there. She's been minding her business in California. So 
let these people catch Paris. They were working on the flight. So they were everybody, they were like us, my, even though her family members are thieves from Australia. Those gangsters, the goldsmiths from Sophia Smith, that's their great, 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 great grandmother who married one of the thieves back who used to steal sheep in people's farms. Yeah, the guy's name, I'm going to find the name, the, the guy's name. It's on the Daily Mail. If you go there, just type in the Sophia Goldsmith or just go on the internet, you're going to find all the terrible stuff about those people. They are the real social climbers here. So those flight attendants, Michael. So guys, Michael Middleton went to the Middle East, got a contract and got money and came back to the UK. That's how he bought himself a, a mansion in the, white, the rich white man area. W rich white middle class w white man area. They never used to be in those Berkshire or you call it Backstand, I don't know whatever you call that place where the Middleton family lives. They never used to have that class before. They're real social climbers. It's on the Cosmopolitan. So go there, you're gonna read everything I'm telling you about here. So the, um, when the Michael Middleton moved his family to that place there where the rich white people live, that's when he decided now we need to look for all the elites of England. Where do their kids go? Kate Middleton was supposed to go to college in Edinburgh. I believe that Edinburgh is somewhere there in Scotland. She was supposed to go to her to her uh, dream college there, that where she was planning to go. And then the mother was, no, 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 Kate. I heard Prince William is gonna go to St. Andrews. So therefore, you're gonna postpone your interest to the college where you, you wanted to go. So the Middletons sent Kate to Florence. And that Florence is in France. Bonjour à tous, bonjour à tout le monde qui parle français ici. Salut. Yeah, I speak French too. So the, Car Carol Middleton was uh, the, the mastermind behind all this social climbing stuff here. And it has nothing to do with Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle worked in Hollywood. So Carol Middleton postponed Kate's interest to her dream college in Edinburgh. And uh, when Prince Harry, uh, 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 what's his name? That guy there, William. When William got admitted to St. Andrews, the militants were like, guess what, Kate? This is what, the way you're gonna go. You're gonna go there and you're gonna date this guy whether he likes it or not. Make it happen. Y'all guys gonna be boozing together. Guess what? When you booze enough, everything's gonna fall down. So therefore, you need to start dressing up with in a fishnet. Do you see the, those stuff that Kate used to wear? We don't see Meghan Markle wearing those stuff before. Unless it probably probably in the movies, but I never seen her dressing up like that. Those dresses, those are fishnets. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so guys, <laughs> can I get a witness? Hallelujah. Woo! This story is just becoming juicy. So here, come on, come on here. Listen. Listen, my queens and my kings, listen. So that's how Cat Middleton, she missed her college where she was supposed to go where she really wanted to go her mother was no you need to go to St. Andrews Prince William is gonna be there we did move to the rich neighborhood behind the Windsor we are rich so right now we're gonna start this party pieces so the party pieces was started in 1987 that's when Carol and uh, this guy here, Michael, started the business because they wanted to climb that ladder. And right now they are in debt. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I'm telling you, God ain't sleeping. 
and that karma, I tell you all, everything you all be saying about Megan, is going to come back, right back at you. Look at right now, the Middletons are broke. They are everywhere on the new, new on a few newspapers. I wonder if this uh, Prince, what's his name? The husband is the one leaking the news to those people there. Why when you back your so-called in-laws? Why wouldn't you help them pay that debt? What's $300,000? What is $300,000? For you all guys. Well, for me, it's a lot of money. Well, it paid for my school. Yes. But you all guys do business $300,000. But if $300,000, if I was a really business woman, nobody would be taking me to no court because of that little money. And, uh... uh tarnish my name on the, on the media because of $300,000. That's a very little money compared to the people who have $60 billion in their bank account. There is something between those two here. We're going to hear something that's coming up in a few more months. Yeah, so right now here, Carol Middleton has to work very hard because of this William K relationship. I don't know if that relationship is really working. I'm just saying that's the psychic spirit in me. I'm just saying. You know one thing I'm a, like a saying in my head. Had a, all this uh, fake AI video, AI pictures and all those stuff happened to Megan. I do not believe that Prince Harry would come on the uh, with a uh, tell his uh, PR people to write some lies about his wife if his wife had uh, this big C like this other girl they say she has big C right and then the husband is telling her to come to 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 apologize to people on Twitter on Instagram where was that apology issued I saw it in multiple videos around here. I do not believe Prince Harry would do that. That kid has a good heart. But look at how Kate Middleton was, was, was uh, treated here. And then all of a sudden, that same uh, post, that apology issued by Kate Middleton about the AI video, uh, pictures of her with the children, got removed. Like, look at these people. You want to compare Meghan to... Kate Middleton. You cannot compare those two. Megan has a man who love her, who adores her. They walk around people in the public. They hold hands. They talk to each other with love. They look at each other with love. You do not see that in uh, those other two. Kate Middleton and, and uh, Prince William, they walk around like they didn't even know each other. They come around, it's like they... Woo! It's like Kate was somebody's neighbor's wife. Kate follows Prince William and what, like a, <laughs> like a, please, please, sir, can you wait for me, please? But you don't see that happening to Meghan Markle. Harry holds her hands. Who I'm telling you all guys, once you go black, you don't come back. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Are you guys pissed yet? You guys, please share my videos. Share my videos with all those racist people there. Uh, share with all those uh, media people comparing K Kate Middleton with, to, to Meghan Markle. You can't do that. You comparing day and night. Did you hear me? You comparing day <laughs> to the night. <laughs> Guys, you definitely comparing the day and night. I'm telling y'all, guys, don't compare those two. Megan is loved. <laughs> oh, let me go home. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna come with more video about these people. Uncle Gary, I got something for you. Yeah, I got something for you, dude. Gary Goldsmith coming from Thief's family. Your genetic is a terrible, Gary. You're coming from bad place. You know what you should do? 
Stop talking about Megan and shut up. Yes, I'm telling you. You, you, Gary Goldsmith, shut up. I'm coming back for you. In a few more days, you guys, just stay tuned. Please share my videos and subscribe to Lady Rose channel and also to Isabella Beck's channel, guys. Okay? Let's go get those subscri subscriptions going. Okay? Ah!